G'day everyone, Viv here. I hope you're all keeping well. Welcome back once again to my short series on learning to play tribal. I was just about to have a break. As you can imagine, I'm filming these in very short segments, you know, back to back, back to back. About to have a break, go off and get a drink, maybe make a cup of tea. There is one thing to do with combat, combat that I have forgotten about, and that is the Jokers. We're playing with normal decks of playing cards here that include both, both the red and black Joker in both decks of cards. What happens in combat with the Jokers? So we have a normal deck of cards. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Jack being 11. Queen being 12. King being 13. The Ace being the 14. A Joker is worth 15. Has a value of 15. And you have your red and black Joker. When you play a Joker, you can choose what suit that red Joker is. Is it a heart or a diamond? Or if you play a black Joker, you can choose is it a club or a spade. Again, keeping in mind that you know with the strike cards, the black cards, if you play a spade, it increases the value if you have long weapons. If you play a club, it increases the value if you have short weapons. What happens if both players play a joker? Let's find out. So here on the table, I've got a little scenario con concocted here. Now, our Maori's again on your side of the table, mud men on mine. Got a, only two warriors left in this unit over here with short weapons. I've got three warriors over here with long weapons. I've got a chief, a champion, champion, chief, a casualty from this combat that's happening in the middle here. I've got some Maoris with long weapons and some mud men's with short weapons. As you can see, for the purposes of this demonstration, there's been three draws. The Maoris have just excuse me, won the most re recent round and killed this guy. They have advantage, so I need to play first. And I've kept, <laughs> in my hand, my Black Joker. So I'm gonna play my Black Joker as a club, which increases it to a 16. I'm feeling pretty good about myself. And the, New Z uh, the Maori player has also kept a Joker. In this case, it's the red one. Now, all of a sudden, the color of the joker doesn't make any difference. We've both played a joker. Some sort of bad omen has passed across the battlefield. An eclipse has happened. There's been an earthquake. You know, a volcano is erupting in the background on an island, you know, in the neighboring area. Something bad has happened and people start freaking out. So what happens? Every unit on the table takes a wound. So this champion over here would take a wound. Champions have five wounds, so they draw five combat cards and you know they have five wounds. He will lose a wound. Our chief will lose a wound. This unit will take a casualty. This unit will take a casualty. This unit will take a casualty. And this unit will take a casualty. The, chief, uh, the champion here will take a, a wound. The chief will take a wound. Every unit on the board takes a single point of damage. So once we've removed you know, all the casualties immediately from the battlefield, the combat round finishes. So in this case, I've played a joker of clubs. So my joker becomes, because I've got short weapons, it becomes a 16 versus his joker, which is only a 15. So I will win this combat round. That should be belonging over there, my bad. I will win a combat round. I will do another point of damage to uh, that unit and uh, collect and clean up the board, get rid, of, get rid of our casualties that, you know, have been dying because, you know, of this bad omen, you know, a black crow flew over or, um, you know, a volcano erupted or some sort of bad omen happened. All right, so I've just noticed in the process of cleaning all of this up, you know, as I was going through it, I totally forgot about the outcome of the combat round. It's clearing things off the table. There were three draws here. I took those off the table. Each side has only won one combat round. So this combat engagement was a draw. You know, wounds and stuff were being caused. It doesn't matter how many wounds you cause or happen, it matters how many rounds of combat that you win. In this case, we've only run one, one round each. It's a draw. In this circumstance, whoever charged into combat will win this round of combat and the, and the, the opponent must withdraw. So in this situation, um, the Maori player here would need to withdraw because the mud men had charged in, you know, it was a draw. They maintain that momentum and the opponent must uh, retreat. So there we go. That's what happens when we flip two jokers 
with you know a side caveat about draws there for our combat round which I forgot to mention earlier on. Anyway, I hope it's been useful. I think now I have been through all of the uh, you know the mechanics for combat. Let's put that all into you know one single cohesive term so all of these little snippets of videos make some sense. Again, as per usual, comments in the comment section. I'd love to see what you guys think and you know hear if you had experiences playing the game or perhaps if I've got something wrong. Um, let me know and uh, description is full of links if you need to go off and find you know mana press and you know places to buy miniatures or you know places on Facebook etc. Thanks for tuning in as usual and I'll see you next time. Bye.